So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0325 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0325 code? Well, it's a knock sensor one, circuit malfunction, bank one, or single sensor. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer's seen a problem with the knock sensor, mainly inside of the circuit, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And what is a knock sensor? Well, the knock sensor detects vibrations that come from a knock or irregularity in combustion and sends a signal to the engine control computer, which then adjusts the timing to correct the knock. So basically all the cylinders need to fire at the correct time and if they don't they're going to send out a knock or a vibration and if this happens then the knock sensor is going to pick this up it's going to send a signal to the onboard computer and then the onboard computer is going to adjust the timing until the knock goes away and so what are some possible causes well it could be a bad knock sensor it could be in the wiring and it might be a blown fuse and possibly a bad ecm or pcm and so the first thing to do when you get this is to go locate the knock sensor on your particular honda since there can't be some differences there can even be multiple knock sensors it's really going to vary it's going to depend on the year and the engine type and things like that so for example here's a 2002 honda odyssey and the knock sensor will be located right in the front of the engine and so if possible it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your particular engine and year to know exactly what's going on and where the sensor or sensors is located and then once you locate the sensor the next thing to do is to check out that wiring and basically be aware that anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor and so you're going to want to check that out real good there's different ways you could test it for continuity and different things like this but the next thing to do is to go check out the wiring and and be sure to check for any bad connections, any obvious signs of damage or anything like that, because that's going to cause the same issues as a bad sensor. And another thing to keep in mind, especially this code is being very difficult, is to check for any blown fuses. Again, it's going to vary on the Honda type and the engine and the year and everything, which fuse it is. But basically, if this code is giving you a very hard problem, it's a good idea to go through and just check all your fuses. Be sure none of them blown. And so if you've gone through and you checked that all out, you checked out the wiring, that all looks good. There's no blown fuses or anything like that. Then the next thing to do is to test or replace that. That knock sensor. These knock sensors are fairly easy to test. If you have a multimeter, you could check them for continuity and things like this. There's some good YouTube videos on that if you want to check that out. But the next thing to do is to go ahead and test or replace that sensor. And the sensor itself is not difficult to remove. It'll just have a wiring harness and the old sensor is going to screw out and then you screw on the new one. But they can be kind of difficult sometimes depending on where they're located. Since sometimes the location can be kind of a difficult spot. For example, here it's located up and underneath the intake, which makes it difficult to get to. While other times it'll be located in an easier location so they won't be that difficult to change but usually the sensor itself is not difficult to remove since it just screws out and you just screw the new one back in and so that's basically it i just want to give a quick overview of how you go about fixing a honda with the p0325 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me how to try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day